美国。一无奈，也只能一直往后退。Worked on his punches. And he does look a lot more in control from when we saw him in his debut. Yeah, yeah. He looks like he has at least a sense of wanting to measure his distance. You know, the thing about being that tall, it can be an advantage if you know how to use it, but it can be a disadvantage if you don't know how to use it. You know, proper punching distance is, is important. So when you're that tall, you have to punch from a little bit further away to maximize your leverage. And there's a pretty good right hand there. Starting to touch curve. He's improved his balance. Learn more about sitting down on his punches, being more accurate. Here's a left hook by McCreary. 比赛到这儿也能看出双方的差距了。前期罗伊几乎是没有一次进攻，双方也是比较平稳的度过。董建军的进攻也并没有大开大合，更多的是一些试探性的动作，双方边打边退。看来对方也是忌惮董建军的身高臂展优势。He's got McCreary. Gets the ropes as we come under a minute. That's where you want to see Tyshawn. Again, not get too crazy. I mean, that proper punching distance. He doesn't want to get too close and smother himself. Memphis. Here's another right hand that backs up McCreary. Every time in the minute, we're gonna get big shots. Let me slow it down. We hit 20 seconds now left here in round one. Despite his height advantage, the first round was Dong Jianjun who won the total control. The next round, both sides are still quite sharp, with a lot of attacks. Both sides also exchanged a lot of punches. This level of punches is quite smooth, but the weight is there, so it's not too heavy. Despite his height advantage, Dong Jianjun also defeated the opponent's many punches. The second round, both sides exchanged a lot of punches. Both sides also 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 exchanged a lot of punches. 董建军拳都到他脸上了，他的拳还差那么点距离，被轻松躲过。
不过灵活性上，董建军却差了不少，被对方抓住机会，连续的重拳击腹，压制在了龙边。Then he said he hadn't really done in his first two fights. Yeah, which it can be kind of tricky for a guy who's seven feet tall、yeah. because you got to give up your height to go to the body a little bit. So you can't just do it recklessly. Stop. Back with that jab, boy. Stay busy. This is the second round. Tyshawn in those gold trunks. Look at all. 第二回合，双方也是打出了火器，频繁的重拳互砸，砰砰作响，谁都不让着对方，就硬扛对方。不过这个级别的比赛灵活性肯定不会太好，很少会有那种频繁的躲闪，更多都是应接对方攻击，你一拳我一拳的互换，看起来相当的刺激。So Seconds. That's Tyshawn not even weighing just anything he wants to. He's gonna have to pull his weight off. McCrary's a guy who's not been knocked out at all. Some crafty moves. Yeah. And when you do hit him, he does take a pretty good shot. Yes, that was a punch was smothered. He Better form, and of course he goes back to the basis with his, of the jab, which you always like to see a fighter at least. Here's a nice big right hand. He reset himself. You like to see that. Coming up, the fourth and final round. 铃声响起，第三回合结束。罗伊在被两次击倒的情况下，几乎是不再进攻，在擂台上玩起了游击战。也导致灵活性较差的董建军没法进攻，这也说明了罗伊惧怕了董建军强大的实力。可是你频繁的躲闪不进攻，就意味着这场比赛结果已经注定。毕竟前两回合都是你的劣势，这回合躲闪也挽回不了颓势。第四回合休息后，罗伊再次的整装待发，想来是前面体力出现了太大的消耗。最后的决胜局，罗伊改变了自己的打法，变得更加的主动起来。皮门的使用前手直拳妄图攻击董建军头部，身高差距让他每次重拳都没法很好的命中。<音>
No, uh, he's a little bit uh, on the rotund side, you know? <laughs> <laughs> to be nice, huh? <laughs> Road work wasn't part of the priority of the camp. <laughs> nah. <No. laughs> cheek of Tyshawn. He's got a soft cut. Under two minutes left in this fight. He's giving a lot of that credit. Here's a right hand by McCrary. Buddy McGurk. Yeah, obviously it's something they work on in the gym and keep those fundamentals kind of back. Another left hook by McCreary. Like that McCreary still trying. You know? Last 10 seconds here this fight. I shot another stiff jab. He misses with that right hand.最终随着时间的推移，双方打满了这四回合的比赛。董建军以绝对的优势拿下了这场比赛的胜利。这位嚣张的美国巨兽也不再嚣张。其实金刚弄不明白的就是，为啥四十二岁的罗伊还能够如